Where's my, 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 my DJ? Put that camera on me, on me. I can't believe what I just heard. Are you good or bad at what you're doing? You're terrible. You're the worst. There's something is wrong with you. This is the definition of player hating. The best Stop. show on Stop. television. Stop right there. <laughs> He's a bad, 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 bad. You <laughs> definitely co-signed that sentiment. Thanks for tuning in to First Take. Stop the damn show. First Take is presented by 5-Hour Energy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome on into First Take on this fine Tuesday. I'm Charlie Arnold, joined here in New York with Max Kellerman and NBA analyst Ryan Hollins. Gentlemen, how's it going today? Going, yeah. I mean, every day it's just showing up. It's like, uh, it's like uh, usually I have to debate Stephen A. Smith, you know? This is like uh, sparring. For are the are, are you are you okay. ready for today? Are you ready? I like it. You don't look too ready. I don't have to be like you know. Oh, the whole danger for me today. Boom. The whole danger for me today is you know how some fighters can't get up for like the little fights. That's what this is. <laughs> I can I can only get up for the paper. Well, and you know we we do have to mention I accidentally ate Max's oatmeal this morning. His specialty yeah. bananas. It was good, wasn't so, it? It was oh so good. Is so it, I'm it, ready to go. I know that much. Almond milk. All right, well, I'm glad we're all feeling good. Someone else who is feeling good, Ben Simmons, because the man is getting paid. The 76ers and Simmons have agreed to a five-year, $170 million maximum extension. Simmons' agent confirmed to ESPN. The two sides coming to terms way ahead of the mid-October deadline to extend Simmons' rookie deal. The number one overall draft pick in 2016 and the rookie of the year in the 2018 season averaged 16.9 points, 8.8 rebounds, and 7.7 assists for the Sixers last season. So, gentlemen, what do you say? Is Ben Simmons worth that $170 million max deal? No, not yet. Okay. But you got to give it to him. This is not like football where in the NFL you better properly evaluate every commodity, which was what the players really are, whether you like it or not, if you're a GM. You better put the right dollar sign on it because there is a hard cap, no exceptions. In the NBA, it's a soft cap. And there are so, and one player has much greater influence over the outcome of a game and therefore the fortunes of a franchise than in any other sport, really. And there are only, you know, everyone else is interchangeable at a certain point. There are certain elite guys. Ben Simmons has the chance to be an elite player, an MVP caliber player. And when you have a guy like that at his age with that ability, you must lock him up long term. But Ryan, if the question is right now, is he worth that money? The answer is no. You got to be kidding me right now. And I understand we both agree on the potential, him being only 22 years old and all-star in the league. But here's the truth about why we're so hard on Ben Simmons, who LeBron James and Magic Johnson, 6'9", 240, 250 pounds, can defend five positions and has natural court vision. He can't shoot the basketball, won't shoot. That's our biggest frustrations. But as is, if he never improved, if he's the same guy from year one, two, three to 15, he's still worth his money. He's worth his money now. Absolutely worth the money. Why? Are you insane? Absolutely worth Hold the money. On. He won't. He, he can't shoot to the point where in the playoffs, when you need him most, he's in the dunker spot. He's a power forward. He's not even the point guard. If you're Philadelphia, you're still a small market. So you're not necessarily just going out and attracting free agents. You're not in a, in a situation like Brooklyn where you got to sever ties with D'Angelo Russell because you're getting KD, bro. Who's Philadelphia getting like that? Tobias Harris. No. <laughs> well, they got them both. In a trade. They got them both. Well, I'm, no, look. Ben Simmons is, as I mentioned, a special player. The problem, and I would give him also the contract, but the question is, is he worth it? He may never develop into the player who is worth that money. But you have to take that chance. Now, we, everyone talks about his shot, but I think it's more than just the shot, Ryan. If you look at Giannis, Giannis and Simmons at the same age were extremely similar players. Simmons has a better handle. They're both excellent passers. They both have vision. They both have size. They can both defend. They're both really aggressive, get most of their points at the rack. But Giannis, at a certain point in his career, took this leap forward. He went from a, a rise, even look at his numbers, the counting numbers everyone likes, or the advanced numbers, the PER. At a certain point, Giannis took a jump. 
And the reason he took that jump is because the franchise understood we got to give him a coach and surround him with parts that help him. So they surrounded him with shooters, and they came up with a scheme, a system that – favors Giannis that brings out the best in him. That's not Simmons. He's got to compete with Embiid for who's the man How on the Giannis's team. How many Giannis's are out there? How many Giannis's are out there? Well, I mean, Simmons is one. Well, maybe. no, 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 no. How, how many, though? Very you you can compare it to one. So even if you have, let's, let's just say, a poor man's Giannis, a yeah. poor man's LeBron, a poor man's Magic Johnson, you think Philadelphia is not going to wrap him up and keep him? If Ben Simmons was an unrestricted free agent right now, Every team in the league will be salivating to try to get them if they didn't have a star. So I don't even just as well, is. When you, you can't say he's not worth one seventy, saying, bro. There, there's two different questions here, and this always comes up when people talk. Contracts. We'll talk as is. We'll talk if he never gets any better. But, as, but as no, is. what I mean is the two different questions is one: is he worth it in terms of the outcome on the court? Two, what does the market say? Market says he's worth it. There's no argument there. I'm not going to mm-hmm. debate whether the, what the market, you're absolutely right. In fact, if there was no salary cap or max contract and he were a free agent, he would get much more than this, okay? So the market, yes, he's worth the money. The question is the production. Is his, is his production worth that money? No. Ben Simmons is not a max contract. Ben Simmons is a kind of bubble all-star level See, player. The problem he may or doing. may not make the here's all-star a, here's team. Here's the problem what you're doing. You are defining max contract with top five player. That's not what dictates contract or even top ten player right now. Is he a point guard? Yeah, he can can legitimately run point. Okay, I agree he's a point guard until you need him most, right, because he can't shoot. Is he better than Steph Curry? No. James Harden? No. Should we keep mentioning point guards? Kyrie Irving? I mean, how many – were you going to name five guys? How what? deep does this At list his go? his position. At the point guard position, At what, his, five guys? Hey, but throw LeBron Damian in Lillard? There. Damian no. Lillard? No. No. Okay, my point is I can name probably a half dozen point guards that you would say, no, Simmons isn't better than that guy. Point guards. There are five positions. Let me ask you something, buddy. Let me ask you something, buddy. How much of those guys get paid that you just named off? You're comparing him to max contract players. So if you're telling but me yes, he's not he just worth got 170, he just got the most money they were able to give him. He's worth it according to the market. Again, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what he actually does on the floor. He must shoot. Or if he never learns to shoot, the mm-hmm. Sixers must decide we're going to develop around him the way the, the Bucks developed around Giannis, which means he's got the ball in his hand. There's no one clogging up the middle. There are shooters all around. He's either going to take you off the dribble, or if you double him, he's going to find the open man. That's not the system they run right now. If you're Eldon Brand and you're in a situation where I get it, what you're saying, hey, do I build around him? Do I move in beat or do I move Ben Simmons? And I understand that point has been brought up. You have to do the best with what you have. And I, I understand there's a reason they went out and were aggressive and traded for Jimmy Butler, knowing that Jimmy Butler had an opportunity to leave. Why? Because you didn't want the ball in Ben Simmons' hands. But with Embiid's health, maybe being in question, you don't know what he's going to be this year, the year after. Uh, Tobias Harris possibly having a chance to leave. Jimmy Butler having a chance to leave. You got to credit Elton Brand and what he's done I because do. he's going for it now. I do. Sixers I, I, are formidable. I, but I, I, okay, I just don't see where you even put an asterisk okay. on this let man me show making you. 170, Max. Let, I want to use PER, and let me just explain quickly. PER doesn't really um, describe defense much. But when people talk points, rebounds, assists, shooting percentage, true shooting percentage, field, all that stuff, it's all rolled into PER, so it's good shorthand. The way OPS, on-base plus slugging, is in baseball. It's just, or, or, or QBR for a quarterback. It's good shorthand. It's not perfect, but it's good. Um, Age 21, Ben Simmons, 20 PER. Age 22, Ben Simmons, 20 PER on the nose. He's the same value, age 21 and 22. Let me tell you, Giannis, age 21, 18.8. Age 22, 26.1. Age 23, 27.3. Age 24, led the league with 30.9. Decided to build around him. Right now, and Giannis right now. So because Philadelphia doesn't have the opportunity to build around they Ben Simmons, the get the, the most – no, right now you're not going to move Joel Embiid. I'm not moving Ben Simmons either because he's in a situation right now Why early in his move? career. Why wouldn't you move one of them? 
it's, it's not worth it. You got to see what they can do together. If it doesn't work out, then you move forward. But right now, it doesn't make sense to move forward. And you're comparing this guy to the MVP of the league and saying he's not worth $170 no. million? No, I'm comparing him to his own position. Point if he's the same player, he's worth one set. If he's no, the actually, same guy. Actually, a 20 PER might make the all-star team, so might are we not. Saying and that's Simmons. An all-star. Simmons. Right, so a maybe all-star is worth the most money you could you, possibly pay. You know those guys that are, that are not all-stars that make max money? You're arguing you're, market. You're aware of that? You're arguing market again. I'm asking you, Ryan Hans, is he worth that money with his production He's on the floor? absolutely worth it. And if I am a uh, – a Philadelphia, a small market, a guy who's not going to get a, a big time free agent. I gotta sign him, or I gotta trade for him. And they're signing the talent yeah, that they I would draft do, him. I would do the same thing. That's not the question, but nice try. All right. Well, Max, you say he's not worth the money. Ryan, you say he you is. You make no sense, right? I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you right now. I think you're not going to be able to believe a lot of things that we're going to say on the show today, but we do have a lot coming up. We've got to take a quick time out, but all eyes will be on LeBron, AD, and the Lakers next season. But is it championship or bust in L.A.? The debate continues after the